Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. This week we're cruising Kahunaville in Wilmington, Delaware. Now, Kahunaville is a multi-venue entertainment complex and also the site of the first My Classic Car Bar and Grill, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Right now there's about a thousand cars that need some attention. So to fill us in on all the details of this cruise-in, here's Richie Bryan, the Director of Automotive Events for Kahunaville. Welcome to Kahunaville. Dennis. Welcome to Kahunaville. I feel laid back already, Richie. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> it is great, and what a monster cruising you got going. Absolutely, we do it every Sunday. Unbelievable. Every Sunday. And believe it or not, we did it all year. We cruised in February. <laughs> These are dedicated people in this part of the country. These are dedicated people. They're wonderful cruisers. Uh, Delaware, Wilmington, Philadelphia area, Baltimore, loves cruisers. They just love them. And you know, I'm also seeing, you know, really quality restorations and, 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 and street rotting and stuff here. There's some really good craftsmen. Oh, it's, it's you know, there's so many people that are talented in this area that do their own work. It's, in, it's insane what they do here. I, I see, every, and the, the unique thing is, is every week there's different cars here. I don't know where they come from. That's cool. Every week they're here. So where, where do you think they're coming from today? You know, is it just the local area? They come in multi-state? Uh, it's it's uh, probably Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey. We've got a few cars from Texas actually here. Oh my goodness. So people came in. I think they came to see you though, <laughs> and your new bar girl. Could be. Well, and that's pretty cool too. I mean, you know, you got so much going on here. At Kahunaville, but adding the the My Classic Car Bar and Grill is kind of a neat thing. Oh, absolutely! It 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 just lends itself to what we're doing. I mean, we're all about the cars. We love the cars. We love the cruisers. Why not put a My Classic Car Bar and Grill in? Why not? I, you know, I, I can't think of a single reason why no. not to. So how did it all get? How did cruising Kahunaville get started? I about a year and a half ago, two years ago, I came to Kahunaville. Uh, they gave me the opportunity to be the director of motorsports. Kahunaville's worldwide, and I said, okay, I'll take the opportunity. I came in. I started doing it. We developed this cruise. Here it is. I mean, the rest is history. I mean, what yeah. you say. Well, yeah, you got it all. I mean, you got you got the <clears throat> entertainment, you got the restaurants, you mm -hmm. got, you know, conveniences. It's truly a destination, you know. And, and I know, I mean, we got we got the new restaurant in there. I know we got to do a ribbon cutting and they're stuff. They're waiting for you. I know they're waiting for me. There's just too many cars out here, though. Let's, let's check a few of them out before we go in there. I think we should. All right, man, let's, let's go. do it. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Oh man, the My Classic Car Bar and Grill was so cool, but I couldn't forget about all those amazing cars that came out for the day. Well Steve, you know, what's a cruise in without a custom? And this is a custom. This is pretty wild. Uh, 61 Buick? 61 Buick LeSabre. It's, uh, it's pretty extreme. Uh, in, in its you know graphics and, and your your paint schemes and stuff. What was your what was your concept? What was your design influence? Uh, lots of flame skulls striping. Scare uh, the children, huh? Scare the children. <laughs> well, I like how you kept the kept it Buick though. You got the port events and then your your fading flaming skulls are all sort of just coming from the port event. It's like a Watson kind of fade to it. Um, lots of candies, lots of flake. Uh, it's called overkill. It's it's a little over the top. You either love it or hate it, and <laughs> so. You it, definitely can't stop looking at it, though. No, no, it, it is extreme. And the interior looks uh, Thunderbird to me, you know, 64, 64 by 6. 64 uh, Thunderbird interior. Man, it's, um, it's, it's wild. They use the back seats and the uh, center console is all Thunderbird. Uh-huh. Um, back that, package tray was handmade and oh, striped. Really? Well, you know, I, like, I always liked that, that curved back seat. It was kind of, uh, you know, kind of a big boy booth or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's straight out of the diner, that's for sure. <laughs> well, you really got to extreme lemon lime color scheme going in here i, I gotta tell you yeah, the house of color paints really pop in the sun it, it, it sparkles it's bright as in, inside as it is on the outside looks like a stock wheel it's a stock steering wheel with a bullet cap added um, just like the wheels it carries on that theme and it is it is wild i mean what a what a what an extreme body you know these bubble tops too they just had so little holding the roof on it's lots so of glass lots of lots of air lots of you know it, it's it's really nice to drive it's almost like a convertible yeah 
You know, even the, the stock tail lights were pretty wild in this car. You didn't have no to... No need to change them. No. Uh, <laughs> they did that on their own. And you got your skulls back there. Of course. You of course. Have, you got to have, have your skulls. skulls. Love the, the exhaust pipes. Uh, those are bellflower tips, uh, an early 60s custom trick. Um, you know, great try, on the try car. to keep it uh, within that theme. Yeah. Well, what do you what do you have power in it? Uh, it's a 364 Buick nail head. So you kept uh, the all Buick stock. all the way through, huh? Nice Two speed engine. power glide, oh, stock man. rear end. It just is a cruiser. I love the you know the the tuck and roll uh, dash here, but you even you took that to an extreme. You've got tuck and roll in your fender wells. They snap in and out for car shows. You know, I take them out when I cruise. Machine and, washable. Uh, machine washable. You know, tumble dry. Tumble use cool, dry. Cool iron. <laughs> no bleach. <laughs> I tell you, this this thing is this thing is overkill, but it's really cool. I like it, and it's you know, I mean, I love that you brought it. Thanks, man. Thank you. Welcome back to my classic car. Well, Brian, this is a wild machine, and it's got to be the only one here. It's a fire truck, but what year? Uh, it's a 1947 Air National. Wow. But it didn't look like this to begin with. No, 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 no. no way. Now, did you do the restoration or the restification, the rotting on it? We had a bunch of friends help out. Yeah, I had a couple rod shops help us. Man, to it's, do it. It's just awesome. I mean, you're so low down. You got to be on air ride or something. Yeah, we have air ride all the way around it. And you've, you've obviously, it's lower, it's longer. What all did you do? Well, the cab was cut and stretched 32 inches. The doors were cut and stretched six inches. Um, the roof was cut four inches out of it. Um, it's got the existing frame that was on the existing fire engine back in the 40s when it ran. It's got four nine inch in the rear. It's got the Nova subframe under the front end of it. It looks so cool. I mean, it's it, that, that chop on it just makes it look awesome. And, and the interior is really cool too. You obviously made it a, a four passenger, which it wasn't to begin with, right? right? But it looks like you got it uh, set up for comfort. What do you got? We got the uh, vintage air, air conditioning. Uh, we got the stereo with DVD surround sound system in it. Uh, digital dash, um, electric windows. We got our air ride um, monitors on the dash. Uh, then we got all the lights and siren control oh, yeah, in our it. console. Got to have the lights. Exactly. Well, <laughs> now you're actually you're actually an active firefighter, is that right? Yes, I work for Baltimore City Fire Department. I'm a firefighter paramedic so, with them. So do you, I mean, do you ever do you ever take this one to the fires and? Uh... Oh, we're the first one first there. First one there. First one there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it creates a stir too. But it's really, it's just so nicely done. And, and man, you don't have to step up on this at all. But what caught my eye was that big blower sticking out of the hood. What do you got under the hood? Let's look uh, at that. It's got a 454 with a 871 blower. A uh, dual quad, of course. Yep, two uh, 850 uh, Elderbrocks under it. And uh, just a little chrome. Just a little just bit. Just a little bit. Boy. Now, is it a trailer queen or do you actually run it? No, we drive it. We just got it done the 1st of June. That is wonderful. And what are you going to, I mean, what are you going to use it for? We're going to teach fire safety. We're going to go to car shows oh, and we'll go man. to schools. Oh, teach you're gonna, fire safety to kids and adults. You're going to get the kids' attention. You're going to get adults' attention <laughs> with this. Got my attention. Right. Man, this is cool. Thank you. It's hot, shall we say. It's hot. Thank you. <laughs> Steve, this is beautiful. I mean, you talk about a 50s car. This. This 56 Star Chief, Pontiac Star Chief, is it. With the color combination, I feel like I'm in a diner. It uh, looks like it could fit right inside of one. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> now, how long have you had this baby? I just bought the car about a month ago. It's oh, wow. the latest edition. New addition to the collection. New you, edition. And you've got a lot of these 50s boats, don't you? Love the 50s cars. And I why love, is that? I just love the colors, the, the chrome, the style, things you don't see on new cars anymore. Yeah, well, you got that right. And boy, these cars were... You couldn't find places to hang more chrome, I don't think. <laughs> I uh, can tell because I have to clean it all. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, as if it wasn't long enough, it's got the Continental kit on the back. Exactly. The Continental you, kit was there when I bought the car, so oh, I'm it's, happy and I, to and keep I love it. it. It's, it sure adds to the to the car. The pink and, and kind of a charcoal, charcoal gray. Charcoal gray. Mm -hmm. Topped off by the black and white interior. I mean, this thing is just a showstopper. It's very nice. I was very pleased when I uh, received it. I only bought the car from seeing pictures, and you always worry. So and you bought it sight unseen? Sight unseen. Ooh, that's risky. <laughs> but it looks like it paid off this time. Very nice car. Wow. Now, now you're, you, you come to Kahunaville every now and again, don't you? I come here quite a bit. Yeah. If I have nothing planned on Sundays, I'm here uh, maybe th two or three times a month. It's a great place for these it. events, isn't it? Very nice people. Like. Well, does, does she look as nice under the hood as it yes, does? Yes, it does. Let's I'll show you. Oh, man, that, that is gorgeous. 
Yeah, this is exactly the way it came. I have not done anything except dusted it off. I will eventually get in there and detail it, but I don't think I have to do too much. To you it. sure don't. And, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it, it, it just looks absolutely showroom. And, yeah. Well, uh, thank you. Yeah, you know, you don't, you don't often luck out like you did on this car. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but it is beautiful, and it is a lovely addition to the collection, I must say. Thank you. Keep, uh, keep bringing them in. I will do my best. Thanks, Steve. You're welcome. Welcome back to My Classic Car. The grand opening of the My Classic Car Bar and Grill in Wilmington, Delaware was a smash. This celebration attracted some of the coolest cars on the East Coast, but I'm convinced this next car came cruising in from a different planet. Okay, Mike, <laughs> what is it? It's a mystery car. Tell me about the mystery. It's, uh, I purchased the car last year, I, and I really don't know much about it. I've been looking for a year Where'd on you find this car. It? I found the car on eBay. No kidding. Wow. Yes. You can find anything on eBay. Can't yes, you, you can. <laughs> and this proves it. <laughs> well, it is, you know, from a distance. When I saw it, I thought, oh, you know, it's somebody's uh, customized a 53, 54 vet, but it's way too big, way too wide for that. And then I'm looking, it's got kind of some, you know, Kaiser Darren. It's got the Darren dip going here. Mm -hmm. Even looks a little bit like the, uh, the Buick Wildcat concept car of the 50s. Yes, it does. But, but you don't know where it came from. No, I don't. No history of it at all. Well, it's obviously uh, you know Ford related. You got you got the the Kelsey Hayes wheels and the Ford V8 there. Yes. I love the Kelsey Hayes wheels. Yes, it's actually a 33 Ford frame uh, that was Z to lower it. Uh, pretty much all uh, the old school uh, ways they did things back then. Yeah. Well, you got the radi the kind of the Buick radius uh, you know wheel wells and it got the sweep spear there. That is the Dagon to shifter I've ever seen. What's the deal in that? Well, the shifter it goes up to a top loader 39 Ford transmission shifter and uh, to get it that you could actually shift it they ran a linkage down that was dummied into the floor it's it's functional but not particularly elegant is it it does, serves its purpose <laughs> how about the windshield windshields a 54 to 55 buick windshield and no post or anything no post it's just we don't know glued in there uh, i would i would imagine but is that a flathead flathead ford v8 from what it's out of a bus. It's out of a bus. All right, well, let's look at that. Man, it looks like it's got some like uh, period modifications too. Yes, it was all done uh, period era. Uh, it has uh, Harold from Los Angeles heads. It has the Evans dual pot uh, manifold. Uh, it's pretty much the way it was when I got it. Unbelievable. Now, is it a fiberglass car or is it aluminum? It's a fiberglass body car. It's 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 wild and it runs and it drives. It runs excellent <laughs> with a flathead. I tell with you, with a flathead. I, you know, again, it's it stumped me, and so I don't I don't feel so bad because you don't even know what it is. I don't know what it is, and <laughs> it's cool though, man. Thanks well, thank for bringing it out. Thank you very much. Thanks for bringing it out. That's uh, sort of made my day. <laughs> oh man, a thousand cars, bands, food. I'm telling you, if you're ever on the East Coast, you gotta stop by Kahunaville. They got it all going on. And don't forget to check out the My Classic Car Bar and Grill.